through this unified crime reporting system. The FBI compiles reports of hate crimes in the United States, and year to year in Oregon, they say the numbers are up. So they reflect likely both an increased reporting as well as an increase in incidents. Uh, and that's the troubling thing. Kieran Ramsey is special agent in charge for Oregon. In 2020, there were 271 hate crimes reported in the state, up from 170 reported the year before. That's a 59% increase. There are any number of factors, societal drivers, let's call them, uh, across the country and here in Oregon uh, with uh, the divisiveness that we can see in, in, in various segments of our uh community. Divisiveness over race has been a huge reason for demonstrations calling for change in our communities. It makes sense when you look at the reasons for hate crimes. In Oregon, the FBI says 70 percent of reported hate crimes were motivated by race, ethnicity, or ancestry. From there, religion was the motivating factor for 10 percent, also 10 percent for sexual orientation, and 3 percent for gender identity. One example of a crime motivated by racial prejudice happened in late 2019 at an Arby's restaurant in eastern Oregon. A black man sitting at a booth waiting for a job interview was stabbed and seriously injured by a young white man. This individual is uh, obviously arrested immediately uh, during the arrest and, and subsequent uh, interviews uh, continues to state, unfortunately and, and really horrifically, um, he did so because that uh, individual, the victim, was black and he hated black people. Then 27-year-old Nolan Levi Strauss eventually pleaded guilty to a federal hate crime. But there are many other cases, including in the Portland metro area, that never make the news. And even more where victims don't come forward. So the FBI is launching an awareness effort. Look for information on billboards and bus stops, radio and TV, in multiple languages, encouraging people to not suffer in silence. Our purpose for this whole entire campaign is to drive community awareness, to really make sure people understand there is yet another resource out there, the FBI, that wants to hear from victims today, tomorrow, the next day. Tim Gordon, KGW News.